commit to the relationship and do not abandon or th or threaten to abandon one another. Um, both the adopt both the birth mother and the adoptee can be fearful of losing each other again. Ghosting is another form of betrayal. Please don't ghost. Stay in communication in whatever form it takes. Acknowledge together that the relationship matters. Commit to this. Don't give up no matter what. Um, I, I presume everybody knows what ghosting is. It's kind of popular in the social media world. But, you know, we've had our arguments in the past and we've gotten upset with one another, but we have really had a good relationship and endured. Um, and um, I think it's because we committed to having, to working it out, you know. Um, but there have been times where we've disappeared from one another or wanted to because it felt good to be right. Um, you know, we had an, if we had an argument about this, that, or the other thing, it, you know, felt good to take my ball and go home and not let anybody else play, so to speak. And, you know, maybe that's okay for a minute, but not to have a relationship for the long term. So we, we highly recommend against that, um, you know, commit to working it out, finding common ground and, and not, well, having been ghosted before by other people, having been cut off, um, I think it's also really hurtful for anybody in the triad to be literally cut off. I can speak for being adopted. It's like, it really cuts to the bone. I think ghosting in general hurts, but I, I, I being a sensitive person, um, it feels like, um, you know, your oxygen supply has been cut off if somebody disappears on you. So don't do it in a reunion. <laughs> this is fundamental to the success of a reunion. This is, this, this is kind of the, uh, the magic sauce, if you will. If the other person is angry and decides to shut down for any period of time, it is understandable. It is acceptable. But you have to say, I will be there for you. I am committed to the relationship. I don't want to talk to you for a month or I don't want to see you for a while, or I don't want to talk about adoption. I want to take a break from adoption, or I need some time off. All of those things are perfectly understandable and acceptable. But to disappear and to, to, to leave the door closed is what's terribly unfair and really will hurt the relationship. You have to know in sickness and in health, and you know, for better or for worse, you're going to be there. And that is a study that was done has shown that that is the key to making the thing work and to stay in the long run. So I think that's really important. Yep. Um, okay. Well, um, for closing takeaways, um, try not to expect a reunion to quote unquote fix you or make you whole. Trust the process. It will get you on the path and lead you to the best possible you. I can tell you, I, I um, probably felt at times that I, I probably put more on an adoption reunion to make me whole than was really fair. Um, I don't feel that way today, but there was a time there where it was like, if I, you know, even going back to school after reunion, it was like, maybe I'll be better. I mean, even Sharon even talked about this, or it was brought up in one of her sessions, you know, there's this there was a, a fellow adoptee felt inadequate after reunion and um, they didn't feel like they even fit in with their newly reunited birth family. And I felt similarly for a while. I was like, I am not as accomplished as I um, need to be. So if I do more work and go back to school and do thus and so I'll be a better person. And it doesn't have to be that way. It has already been presumably for a lot of us pretty painful um, so the reunion doesn't have to be, nor should it be. It should be fun. Um, have some fun with it. This is this can be where some real joy can come into your life. And it has for us. And we have a lot of laughs. We do have a lot of laughs. Another part of my life, don't, don't take yourself so seriously. So um, have yeah. some fun. Enjoy the journey. Trust the process. Let it unfold. Do the work that it takes to let it unfold. But... Um, it will unfold if you invest in 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 wanting to have a lasting reunion. It will work itself out if you do the work to work it out and not take yourself so seriously all the time. 
Um, my closing takeaways are two as well. And the first one is try not to judge the other person. Some of you may know me and know that that's a big challenge for me. I do want to fix the other person. I want the other person to behave in a certain way and be a reflection of me and to dress in a certain way and to speak in a certain way. Uh-uh, no can do. And that, you know, I have to remember that and remember that he was raised in a different family with loyalties and responsibilities to that other family. I, that's a reality. It's a difficult reality to swallow. And then a reminder to the birth mothers too, be the best you can be, but don't worry. You're also fine the way you are. But I know a lot of birth birth mothers, there's, you know, well, she didn't do this or he didn't do that. And and yet, what are they doing? You have to meet your child halfway, your adult child most of the time. But be the, be the, be the best you can be for them and for yourself. Mm. And uh, I agree. Do, enjoy, introduce some joy and laughter and don't take yourself too seriously. 